Hi, Aries. Welcome into your bonus reading. All right, guys. So basically, I got a new webcam because I got a new laptop and camera. Great, wonderful. And all of a sudden, the recording was like shoddy. The uh, the sound bite was horrible. And I was like, what the hell? So now I went out and bought a webcam and I'm testing it out. So now Aries gets a bonus reading. <laughs> all right, guys. What we're going to do is we're going to read for the whole month of February. We're just going to be general. And we're just going to go with the flow uh, here. So I'm going to do a bunch of cards and we're going to do love and work separately. So Universe Angels, Spirit Guides from my beautiful Aries here. What's coming towards them in love? Romantic, physical, emotional, mental love, even spiritual love. What's coming towards my Aries in the month of February? Show me who or what is coming towards Aries. Uh, the kings are incoming energies. You are my queens. Let me have one more, please. Or two. Okay, I understand. Okay. So from what I'm seeing here, guys, you're going to have some obstacles and challenges uh, dealing with somebody here to come forward and communicate with you from what I'm seeing at the bottom of the deck. And then there's this king of uh, wands, somebody that you're very attracted to, somebody very passionate, um, charismatic, good looking, um, also could be an Aries Leo Sag. Now. The six of wands is sideways and so is justice. And these two, when they come in combination sideways, they're making sense to me. Sideways to me means it's being a challenge for you. It's somebody to come in and validate you, acknowledge you is the challenge here, as well as justice. This is karmic justice, getting justice for dealing with whoever you're dealing with or dealing with the shit that you've been dealing with. Nine of cups, wish fulfillment, the sun. So, long story short, and this is absolutely ridiculous, I can't even believe I'm seeing this, but what's coming in your love life, guys, is that you have some wish fulfillment and desire that's coming in on your own self-value level uh, with the Nine of Cups, and you're going to be very happy, but the thing that's challenging you is somebody here to acknowledge you, to make you feel good. So... For example, right, when we say the nines are for self, if this was a 10, I'd say it's mutual. It's going back and forth. It's flowing. For you, it's a desire that this person is coming in towards you, okay? That's great. That's wonderful. The problem, the only problem I see here is the other person is lacking to communicate their desire for you as well. And newsflash, for any cross-watcher here, I mean, I don't know how an Aries could survive and thrive in a relationship unless <laughs> their cups are being filled on a passionate and an emotional level just can't so someone's not doing that and that's the challenge here because I, I it doesn't matter at the end of the day whether it's good or bad but if Aries person is not hearing from their partner that they're desired that they're wanted that they're liked that they're happy with them it's not it's gonna eventually hit a roadblock okay and that's what's happening here. And it's not to say that this person doesn't desire you. They're just not telling you so. But they're in your sphere. They're in your world. But, you know, you probably are being challenged to hear that, to be vindicated, to be validated, to be understood, to be heard. They're in your world. And maybe you're just trying to figure them out. But this, this is the only obstacle I see here right now. And it's for you, Aries, to figure out how you're going to tell your partner, your person here, how to um, tell them to fill your cups. You need a tenth cup so it could be mutual. Universe Angel Spirit Guides, can you please clarify this for me for uh, Aries? I mean, you're happy here. They're in your world. But this is the obstacle that I see. Uh, you're you're trying to take a leap of faith towards the situation. You're trying to take a risk. You're putting yourselves out there, basically. You're being your true na natural selves, the fool card, which is Aries. Look at this. And you are putting effort into the situation. Eight of Pentacles. 
Um, this is what you're doing. Let's see what your person's doing. What are their intentions towards Aries, please? And this is something, by the way, for those of you who are not my members in the extended, this is kind of what we do. We in the regular readings, they're all about you in the extended. They're all about your person. All right. So universe, what are their feelings to Aries, please? And I'm working on a different platform. I will be eventually moving the extended videos over be, uh, to another platform uh, just so I can make it scalable in price. And secondly, a lot of people are having problems entering into the membership. All right. So with that said, what are their feelings for Aries, please? The Hermit and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So this person is being cautious with you, basically, is what they're doing. They're laying low. So a lot of you could be dealing with an Earth sign. And if you are, because Hermit is a Virgo energy, uh, Knight of Pentacles, also Taurus energy. I also see Capricorn lurking around here, a lot of Earth and fire. Anyway, long story short, how they feel, they're, they're, they're being cautious. So if you feel like they're laying low, they're not actually pulling away from you. They're, what they're doing is their true natural selves. Just like you're a passionate creature, this is somebody who works slowly, methodically, patiently. Um, and if they seem quiet and reserved, it's not that they're pulling their energy away from you. They're pulling it inwards to themselves because this is their MO. This is their style. Um, this could have also been somebody you had a recent past with where you might have had a breakup and you're trying to rekindle things. Uh, but as far as intentions, this is what they're doing. Let's see their feelings. They think you're holding back your emotions towards them. They're willing to work things out with you, um, but they think that you're being, I hate saying this word, but you're withholding your feelings, that you're not emotionally available or that you're just being um, emotionally withdrawn. So you're either emotionally unavailable or you're emotionally withdrawn or you're just keeping your emotions to yourself intentionally. But they're still willing to work things out with you. See, here is where we start to fall things apart. Like, you're guessing what they're thinking. They're guessing what you're thinking. You're both thinking the wrong different things <laughs> instead of talking to each other. And that's your blocks and obstacles. Interesting. But you will work it out. You will figure it out. Because you've learned Aries. You've learned from your past. And you've learned how to uh, turn things around. All right, because I do see six of wands at the bottom of the deck, which is success here. Uh, successfully either having some sort of reconciliation or a reunion here with someone. Now, let's go ahead and see the in general, your surprise for February. What is the big surprise for Aries that they just absolutely do not see coming? And you can come back in March and tell me you I was wrong or I was right. Because this is a prediction. This is a future prediction. What is the surprise that Aries doesn't see coming in the month of February? One more shuffle. Do, do, do. What's the surprise for Aries, please? Someone that you might have had an ending with might be communicating with you. Why do I say an ending? Because I, for whatever retarded reason, I had to pick up the first card and it was death. <laughs> I saw it. I can't unsee it. <laughs> so I'm going to add it to your reading. And oh my God. This is when I get chills. When a card wants to be shown to me or revealed to me, I'll hear things in my head and I'll be like, like just now, I was like, oh, look at the top card. It's relevant. And so I looked at the top card and it was death, right? Okay, fine. 
I shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. I drop all your cards. What's at the bottom of the deck? Can can I like? <laughs> I just had to share this moment with you, Dad. When the card wants to come out, it will come out. Anyway, long story short, here's the surprise. You're gonna have some kind of communication with something that you thought was done and dusted. Okay, dead and gone. When this comes back, it becomes a burden onto you. It becomes like, oh God, I don't want to deal with that again. I dealt with that. Here it is, the Ten of Wands. It was something that was flaky. It was something that was just like in out energy. And then the higher font. This had something to do that was either with uh, someone you were courting, dating, um, possibly even married to. This could have been something that you were like you were doing on a spontaneous level, but you were trying to put yourself out there and then maybe it didn't work out with this situation or this person and you ended it and you moved on with your life and now it's coming back to fucking haunt you because it was something that was done and dusted. It's not done and dusted. This person's trying to come back. <laughs> the situation's trying to come back. But I, I'm pretty sure this person, like here they are trying to communicate with you and you're going to be like, what? No, not this person. All right, so let's clarify this. What is this all about? Eight of Wands, Ten of Cups, Ten of Wands, Knight of Wands. Look at all these wands. The higher font. The Emperor. The Devil. Damn. And the Three of Swords. And the Nine of Cups. Shit. Aries. Damn. Ugh, this goes back to like your reading that I think I did like a few days ago. Um, here is somebody that you had full wish desire for. Somebody you, you really were into. They come back rushing in the chariot. This is at the bottom of the deck. The tower. The person that you had a collapse with. The person that you had a big fight with. They may come back rushing. Here you are, the emperor, because you bossed up. Here's the devil. Some of you, it's a Capricorn. The three swords, somebody who caused you profound pain. This thing has been residing with you forever and a fucking day. It's been like these daggers from this person and this toxic situation have just been sitting there and the swords in your heart, like it's calcified around the friggin' swords, right? It could have been a third party situation for some of you and a choice was made and you were not part of that choice. Anyway, the point of this is these are the clarifiers telling me here you are. You bossed up to a situation that you knew was toxic for you. And even though you've removed yourself from this situation and or this person, it hurt you a great deal to do so. OK, this person obviously can't let go of you because clearly they're trying to come back into your life into your world and along with it brings those burdens they're bringing back the same old casual shit this this knight of wands action but with it it's like they're trying to bring it back into a relationship here's what's off about this it's like it kind of makes you feel like you don't know where you stand, sort of. Like, you don't know if you're just casual or committed. Um, it's almost like a bizarre feeling. But this is something that you don't see coming. This is like the complete surprise. Somebody's coming in to communicate with you that had hurt you in the past. Or you might have hurt them. It can be vice versa. I mean, what else am I going to clarify here? That's the actual surprise. Let me see what you should do. Let me see your advice here. What's the advice for this situation? Interesting. Okay, so the Ten of Pentacles talks about you needing to be more concerned over your family 
the money on your home um, and or your marriage right now for those of you that are married the ten of pentacles it's talking about focusing on your family talking about focusing on dumping money on your home at this point in time others of you that is, are married it's talking about your marriage um, strength holding back uh, from something from your past you need to remain focused guys and keep moving forward into your agenda in the sense of what's going to bring you true abundance into your home also if you're going to date someone new and you want to get married and you want a family and you want stability who is that going to be it should be so obvious no games no bullshit what do they think how do they feel it would be obvious you know how it would be obvious through their intentions hey i want to settle down one day and get married i'm looking for a life partner just like that date two could even be date one who gives a fuck are you gonna chase them off great you just eliminated pain down the road that's what it says find the balls strength there it is the leo card the past is the past like remember the happy memories that you might have also had here with somebody with your family and your home and your marriage and all of that this is the advice here is there anything else you want to add spirit I feel like most of you Aries are on a course on a path of like stability and what that's going to be for you in your home in your family and what's best for you financially and emotionally okay if somebody here does not fit that bill for you it's time to just scrape them out make them a happy memory six of cups hold yourself back from anything that seems toxic the strength card and focus on the money in your home the abundance in your family and all of that ten of pentacles seven of wands this is these two cards are the same this is the minor arcana for this major arcana this is withholding defending yourself some of you could be also dealing with the king of swords um aquarius gemini libra whoever this person is that's coming back to you stay strong stand strong defend yourself all right that is the advice I was going to ask who might it be, but there they are. <laughs> All right, let's go into finances. I want to do your finances now. Actually, before we, we cap off um, finances, let's just ca uh, finish off the romance with uh, and love with the romance angels. I'm getting tongue twisted. trust this situation is calling for you to have faith i'm going to say this for you two guys you need to have faith in yourselves as well trust in your decisions also express your love is at the bottom of the deck clarify trust oh aries i really don't need to remind you you are the boss it is time to boss up here you are the emperor trust in yourself this is what you've been learning 2022 was your patience and all of that one second guys also trust in the confidence you've been building for yourselves you've been learning from your mistakes now when they approach you guys you're gonna know how to handle them you're gonna know how to mitigate them you're gonna boss up Trust in you. Trust in what you're you're feeling inside. Also, trust in the universe. They're your partners in this. You want a partner in crime? That's them, the universe. They know what they're doing. All right. Continuing. Let's go off into your work sector. Universe, angel, spirit guides. What's going on from a beautiful Aries? What is happening to Aries? In finance and career interesting I love it when I start seeing cards that make sense pentacles that's money that's finance 
Eight of Pentacles, you're working really hard towards your craft right now, guys. All right? And it's it's no time to stop. Four of Cups, interesting. Some of you might be getting bored, too, but we'll get there. Um, seven of Pentacles, you've been investing your time and energy into a certain situation, whether it's a company, a project, a business, a something. Um, but you've come to a place right now also where you've got to make a judgment call because you've been putting a lot of time and effort into this situation. And you're right now at the bottom of the, the deck with the Four of Cups. You're coming into this place of boredom or stagnation, all right? So you're kind of uh, thinking like, okay, I need to make a decision because the Seven of Pentacles is talking about your harvest, you know, coming in. And it is. You've, I'm sure you've seen some results so far from what you've been doing the last six to eight months. But now you've come to a place where you've got to make a judgment call. Whether you're going to move on, move into a different direction, invest your money. Right now, the way the stars and the planets are aligning, it's all about your career and your finances. Everyone wants to interrupt me today. Sorry about that. But anyway, let's go ahead and clarify this. Eight of Pentacles, please. So today is Sunday. I'm going to upload this for Monday. So it'll be like a work week thing for you guys to see this video. All right. Uh, yeah, look at you. You're interesting because the, the emperor is again at the bottom of the deck. The emperor is somebody who creates empires, meaning you're very gifted when it comes to leadership roles, also in coming up with smart ideas and solutions. Every Aries I've ever met comes up with solutions, with problems. They don't go with problems. If, if, if an Aries announces a problem, they're also going to have plan B, C, D, and F, <laughs> always. Anyway, here you are trying to work towards your craft over here, and you're collecting all these coins at the bottom of this table, as you can see here. But you're also being very um, defensive in a way nine of wands you're also tired physically you're physically exhausted nine of wands you're you're working really really hard towards this goal um this thing that you want and a lot of you it is your own business it is your own empire okay because this is what the emperor does he creates empires you're working and you're shoveling to boss up in a certain situation let's see where this is going because this is just February. So it looks like you've got some momentum com coming in your way. And it looks like you, you just started rolling this ball uh, ahead. Seven of Pentacles, please. please some of you might might have lost a partnership or somebody that you work with at work or whatever it's in reverse this is a rejection of this person you're trying to get away from this person you're mentally trying to disengage you're trying to not look back somebody here that you have invested time and energy with there's a partnership here or a person you're working with and you're trying to uh, remove yourself or reject this person and I don't know if they're doing it or you're doing it but there's a rejection this it's not working out with this person and it looks like you are trying to like get away from them why is this happening You're trying to take a risk. You're trying to take a leap of faith right now on your own. You're trying to go out on your own. You're taking a big risk right now, Aries. I can see it. You're like, fuck this. Why am I passing my knowledge and my skill set to this other person? And they're using it when it's my info that I'm sharing here. Or it's my hard work. Or it's my labor. It's my talent. And this person is taking it on like it's their own. So I feel like you're trying to separate yourself here from someone else or a group of people. Um, and you are going to have some sort of collapse here with this partnership or this person. All right. And you're going to take a risk on, and go out on your own. 
for sure. And you're going to chase your desires and your passions here. Let's see what judgment, and this is why you're making a judgment call. Clarify judgment, please. Look at you being financially independent. Damn. The Ace of Swords in reverse. This is like uh, either A, not signing a contract, or B, withholding information. And the Star in reverse. There's something here that you find hopeless, not hopeful. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius here, and this is a rejection of this person. You just find them not forthcoming. You find them to be like lying to you or saying something to you or just not putting their cards on the table. Um, and you're like, fuck this. I'm going to make this money on my own. Or I'm going to make this financial independence on my own without this person. And you might be cutting them out. Let's see. I want more information on that, spirit. More information on that. What, what exactly is the Ace of Swords in reverse? Some of you, you, if those of you who had like a family business or you were married and then you divorced and you're splitting up your company or some shit like that, this is you just getting away, way away from that. Interestingly enough, three of swords in reverse, trying to recover from pain, the devil in reverse, getting away from someone and something that was toxic for you. The emperor in reverse. This was using, you felt like they were manipulating you so you had to use your authority against them which kind of put you in a shitty ass position, a, a person being a person that you didn't want to be or in a position you didn't want to be in. And the king of swords rejecting this person and getting them out of your fucking life. Again, very much Aquarius, Capricorn, Aries and Aquarius energy there. Yeah, defending yourself and your position and your situation. This could even be your boss, guys. Apply it however it is. This is career and work. This is some bullshit you dealing with. You're like, fuck this. I'm going on my own. They need me more than I need them. <laughs> and with the Nine of Pentacles, clearly that's true because you're financially secure on your own. Let me see where this is headed because this is just February. Universe Angel Spirit Guides, where is Aries heading? A lot of you are going to feel stuck because you feel like you can't leave. You need the money. You need the paycheck. You need whatever. Or your circumstance has you stuck. But the fact is that you're going to remain strong here. You're going to hold yourself back from, you know, lashing out, overreacting, uh, being impulsive. Guys, I can't even begin to tell you not to make impulsive moves. <laughs> you know this now. This is what 2022 is all about. Not doing impulsive moves things not like saying fuck this i'm quit or you know fuck you i'm out no we're not doing that anymore <laughs> we're like we're gonna think things through which you are and because you are look where it's headed six of wands six of wands is being vindicated validated success where are you going aries we need you we want you they they have fond memories of you they have good memories of you that's where it's headed but you feel stuck you're the one that feels stuck You guys, you're definitely on your way of creating your own legacy. Here you are with the Empress, for sure. Angels of Abundance, what have you here for my Aries? These cards, usually I bust them out a lot in private readings. I don't usually do them in <laughs> the YouTube readings. At least now you get a taste of that too. Aries advice for work and career and money and abundance in every shape, way, and form, even if this is wanting to be related to your health. Dreams of abundance. Damn. As you sleep, God, your angels, and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. 
be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insight that will help you manifest your desires into reality. That's why you kept getting the emperor. I told you, the emperor manifests empires. He manifests ideas. And then he goes out and he executes them. Actually, she does, the empress. She physically executes them. The emperor comes up with the ideas. And here they are. And the spirit's like saying, you're going to be dreaming about them. So you're going to be getting signs. You're going to be getting dreams. When you wake up, you better have a journal and a pen right next to you, just like I do. Where the hell is it? Here's my journal. I wake up every morning. I get a dream. I jot that shit down. I'm going to read this to you guys again. As you sleep, God, your angels, and your higher self are your higher self too, guys. Giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions, be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insight that will help you manifest your desires into reality. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I, I hope it was helpful, but before you go, I'm going to be funny and pull a spiritual as fuck card for you because we got to cap it off by, you know, a little funny. Leave me your comments down below as always. Aries, please. When you are wrong, admit it. When you are right, be quiet. Oh my God, this is such a powerful message. I gotta tell you, a power being the key word, all of this shows your power and your value when you do these things. When you are wrong, admit it. When you are right, be quiet. You don't gotta be suffering like a fool. Be like, oh my God, I'm so wrong. Just a little taste, just a little touch. Just be like, you know what? I could do that better. You're right. Sorry about that. Moving on. It shows that you are capable of leadership without losing your shit, quite frankly. And when you're right, being quiet means you're being humble, more desirable for people to be attracted to you. Just say yes to fessing up or shutting up as the situation warrants. You'll be all around way more likable to everyone, including yourself. If you need to, keep a list of all the times you were absolutely right. Just be sure to burn it before you die so you don't ruin the illusion for everyone else. <laughs> it's so true. Can't even tell you. Like These are definite words to live by. And I always rein it in in my office. And yet everybody wants to come to me for advice. But I try to do it in doses. Um, great advice. Seriously, truly. All right, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. And I will see you on the next one.